often combining the if function with the if error function will get us where we want to go in a single formula. So here's an example. In column E, we have a list of all schools in the state of Indiana, and we want to put the word in column F, yes, if it's an elementary school, no, if it's not an elementary school. So we might start with an if statement. What I have an F1 here, so we could use search, which is not case sensitive, because I don't know if these are all capitals. I think they are. We want to search for elementary. Now I know I've got all caps there, but I want to show you search doesn't care. In this cell, starting at the first character, and if that's greater than zero, we know we've got elementary there, so we might put a yes, otherwise a no. Now that's not going to work. Okay, so copy that down. It works sometimes. It's a yes, but when there's supposed to be a no, I get a value. So the easiest way to fix this is what I've done in row two here, F2. We'd put an if error in front of this formula as it is. So I could do if error. Okay, now what that's going to do is if this formula works, we'll get what the formula says, which will always be a yes, and then otherwise we'll put a no. And that should do it. So now if I copy that one down, here we go. That's an elementary school. Yes, that's not an elementary school. If you want to see that formula right, exactly right there, there you go. So this is a very common trick. You write an if statement that sometimes gives you a value and fails. And then all you do is throw an if error in front of it and put after the comma what you want to go in there. I mean, I've used that so many times. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.